to remind me of Disneyland. Hi, who's that? It's this place where stories come to life. First off, how are you doing, Sophie? You're looking fabulous. Thank you. I'm doing all right, thank you. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to be uh, nice to be back in New York. We're up season eight, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, so it's good. It's nice to have a little family reunion, and we're we're all here. So, congratulations on concluding uh, an incredible show. Um, now, in these three episodes that I got to witness, we mm -hmm. didn't get too much of Brianna, you know, in between Jemmy being kidnapped and uh, Robert Cameron just showing up at the front door again. Uh, but what would you say, sh how would sh how has she been dealing with it? What does she think is happening in the other timeline? I mean, this is one of my favorite things about this season is um, Brianna has really grown from season two to where she is now. I've always said she's a bit of an onion that you have to peel. And I think at this point, she's really at her motherhood layer. And um, so when something like this would have happened in a different time in her life, I think maybe she would have dealt with it quite differently. But now um, it's not her that she's defending, it's her child. And so I think that this mother bear element really comes out of her. And um, so honestly, I think her way of dealing with it is um, is just by kind of snapping to and having to point her, her focus to the direction of finding her child. And I think one thing for Brianna is that she spent a lot of her life just kind of as her own first and last line of defense and having to look after herself and only being able to rely on herself. And so I think this is the first time that we see her kind of putting her trust into another being, which is her husband, and he's off of looking for Jemmy. And um, I think the fact that Brianna has to stay at home with Mandy and has the responsibility of taking care of that child too really changes how how she acts. I think her default mode would have been just to dive straight in and go and do the thing herself, but she needs to put on a brave face for her or the child. And so they really need to be the priority. Uh, I feel like all of that comes to fruition in the confrontation scene uh, in the third episode back when Rob shows up and you, I love that instead of negotiating or pleading, you just take them out. <laughs> yeah. <exactly. What? laughs> How fun is that scene to play? And what do you think is her plan in that moment? Does she have a plan? I think she does have a plan. I think when she kind of edges him over to the sink, she kind of has clocked what she's going for and she knows what she's going for. Uh, it was actually quite interesting because the fact that they had to write the scene in before, which was Brianna wrapping her finger, was because I had actually broken my finger oh. in real life. And so they had to write it into the scene. And so Brianna then reaching for the pan was just something that we said that she could feasibly lift with one hand because I didn't have to. Um, and actually it's interesting because they said that uh, the props team said that that was one of the hardest props they've ever had to make on, make on Outlander, which was to make a rubber version of a Le Creuset and make it look look real. So, uh, and to, to make it feel heavy, you know, Brianna's very strong. So uh, definitely had to, had to add some weight to it. Um, but yeah, I think she's a pretty calculated person. I think in her past, she's been very Fraser-esque and she's quite hot-headed and um, she's quite reactionary. But I think in this one, it, it is a layer of self-defense, but also she's she knows what she's doing. I think she's she's quite quick now at assessing her surroundings and, and seeing, uh, seeing how she can quickly formulate a plan. And I love that in the first half of the season, we've really gotten to see her flourish in this time period in the <clears throat> 80s. Um, how, um, how much do you think what she took away from like the 1700s has affected her behavior in the present? And do you have more fun with one or the other? Mm -hmm. uh, it's an interesting question because I think Brianna's a bit of a chicken egg situation when it comes to, to the 80s and then to the 1700s because I think Frank definitely trained her, if you like, um, for the past. So, you know, she's got the best shot on the ridge. She's, she's very good at taking care of herself and others. But I do think that putting that into practice in the 1700s definitely put her in good stead for, for the 1980s because the stakes are a lot higher. Um, and so I think she's maybe just taken some awareness back with it. I think she, you know, she's had some indescribable things happen to her in the past. And so her, her nervous system is constantly, I think, more on a, a smidge higher alert than it would have been before. Um, and I quite enjoy playing that. I quite enjoy playing just the, the, the more worldliness that she's acquired through living in that time. Um, and just, she just takes less rubbish. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, now, obviously, you can't just tell me how the season ends uh, or the show, but is there anything uh, in the upcoming episodes that you're most excited for fans to see? I think you've touched on it. I think I am very excited for fans to see the the, the Mama Bear aspect of Brianna. Um, <clears throat> as I say, she 
she's a tough nut to crack and and once you do she really will do anything to defend those close to her and she's exceedingly loyal but i think seeing her protecting her her young is a whole different level and that animalistic um raw masculine side of her is something that i'm super excited for people to see i love that now um, one thing I think Outlander has done so well is help these side characters and romances flourish, even though some fans may just be like, well, where is the main family unit? This is what I want. Um, so for you, as just like as a fan of the show, is there any character or romance that you've been watching most closely or that you're most excited for? Oh, I mean, Young Ian and Rachel are just sweet. Um, I'm really rooting for them and they have some beautiful scenes this season. So, yeah, you know, who knows where that'll go. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. Uh, you've been wonderful, Espriana, and I'm so excited <laughs> to see more. Thanks, Tatiana. I appreciate it. What do we do? We can't call the police? Roger. What are you doing? I'm going after him.